The royals are here, and even Quebec Premier René Lévesque went to Ottawa to visit the Queen. By all accounts, Queen E and Prince Philip are having a wonderful time, whining and dining in the most splendid style. One story has it, though, that Sir Philip Moore, Deputy Private Secretary to the Queen, cracked his dentures on some buckshot while eating a freshly bagged Canada goose at Harrington Lake. But there's no tarnish on Her Majesty, and UPI's Ottawa Bureau Chief Claude Eno has been following the Crown around town since her arrival. He's standing by in Ottawa. Does the Queen look like she's having a good time to you? In the, in the pictures I've seen, she looks very tired. I'd say, though it sounds contradictory, that uh, she is having a good time and she is extremely tired. Um, several people I know have had conversation with her, and uh, she has admitted quite openly that uh, she's really looking forward to the end of the Silver Jubilee. Um, she's looking forward to getting back to London and uh, opening the Parliament there. And when she does that, that'll be the end of the heavy load that she's been carrying all this year, and she... Uh, at various receptions, just comes out quite frankly and says, I'm just looking forward to it. I want to end. It was amusing last night on television to watch Prince Philip with his head down, staring into his lap, hoping she was going to get through that speech all right. There were some words in that speech, especially in French, that are, that are very difficult, even for a French-speaking person, like autochton, uh, which means native Indian. And it's just a hard word to say, and I've seen Polish to Radio Canada announcers trip over that one. So uh, I think she did very well, but Philip, uh, Philip was sort of pulling for her. <laughs> Do we know yet what she said to René Levesque or vice versa, between the puffs on the cigarette? I'll tell you, um, I managed uh, last night, as the Prime Minister was waiting to get into the reception line at dinner, I managed to corral uh, Mr. Trudeau, and I asked him, and he said, you know, all we did was eat, and there wasn't any uh, discussion uh, of national unity with the Queen, and there wasn't even a discussion of national unity between Prince Philip and uh, Mr. René Levesque. It would be wonderful to know who made the decision to put René Levesque 25 feet down that table. What uh, protocol chief made that one? That was, that was made in the Prime Minister's office, that particular decision, uh, because it was the Prime Minister's uh, dinner. And uh, I don't think he wanted it to be political. I mean, it was going to be political anyway, no matter what you did with it. And um, the, the hope was that uh, it would be political only on a subliminal level or a symbolic level, but that it would never really get down to it. And uh, I think that uh, Mr. Levesque was after exactly the same thing. Uh, as you remember, he said he'd t brief the Queen on, on Quebec's position, if she asked. He looked like he was in a very big hurry to get out of there. Uh, he was in a hurry to get in, and he was in a hurry to get out. Uh, I think uh, that uh, I've never seen a more uncomfortable man. Uh, you know, there was a little gaff at the door where he uh, went <laughs> talking to so, so preoccupied, telling reporters that he's hungry and he wants to get in there, that he walks right by with Trudeau, who's, who's waiting to greet him, you know. And, uh, now, was that a, a deliberate thing by Trudeau, do you think, to, uh, was he setting him up a bit? Well, uh, no. How, how prominently was he standing on the porch? He was, he was right there. I mean, he, he was... You, you didn't miss him. He was, no, no, you couldn't miss him. He was there, four square, all alone, standing on the porch. And uh, the thing is that Rennie was leaning, what Rennie was looking away, he was looking to his left, and uh, he was walking up the stairs rather briskly and in conversation with reporters who were asking him questions. He, he, he Trudeau would definitely not be in his field of vision. And it wasn't, uh, of course, until he got back that uh, Mr. Trudeau said, uh, and Rene, you know, and you could at least say, uh, say hello. And uh, the interesting thing... I assume he said it in French. He said it in French, and the interesting thing for, for students of little details is that, as you know, in French there is the uh, vous, which is used by people who don't know each other. Right. You know, and there's the intimate tu, and uh, both of them use the tu. How nice. Uh, <laughs> there's hope yet. I don't know. Maybe that's a... If I were a criminologist, I might pin some hope on that. Who wrote the speech last night? Was that pure Trudeau, or was someone else's hand on it? Uh, I'm informed that uh, the, uh, the Prime Minister had some input, but that it's basically, it comes out of a, a unity group uh, headed by a fellow named Tellier in the Prime Minister's office. It was Tellier rather than Robertson's group? Yes, that's right. Uh, this, is, this is the word we have. People aren't, uh, people are saying basically, well, of course, it's the Prime Minister's office, and uh, the subgroup of it being the, the Tellier group. Anyone do a, an audience poll in Quebec on the television audience? I wonder how many Quebecers were even watching her. I really don't know. I mean, the speech, of course, was aimed at them all day, the meaty sex. Well, that's what's always so funny in this country. We keep talking in Quebec. Are they listening? Um, I 
To tell you the truth, I don't think they probably were because the Kennedy and were having a hockey game against Boston at the same. And Edith Bunker was getting raped last night. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> I was at the. That's tough competition. <laughs> I guess that is, but uh, the uh, I think uh, uh, a hockey game in which uh, the Kennedy and scored their second shutout in a row would have been probably too attractive for a lot of Quebecois. And uh, you know, there are there are those people who love pomp and pageant pageantry, even if they don't like the Queen, who might have watched. But I doubt if they're very highly political animals. That's, uh, that's uh, about the... Um, that's it from Ottawa? I think that's about <laughs> it from Ottawa. <laughs> okay. We're going back to the Queen. Maybe, maybe we'll have some more juicy details a bit later on. Thanks a lot, Claude. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.